or excuse me, on the right, uh, Kukri, Rock, and K Dash versus Perurin playing uh, Chizu. Uh, I think I saw Athena and Elizabeth. Kind of cut off before I got a chance to look over. Let's see what we got. Jizuru, Kulu, and Shermie. Hey, Shermie squad, let's go. Jizuru, a uh, character that benefited from the recent patch. It's like a strong character, already made her stronger. I'm liking that that uh, that dark red and black that she's rocking right now. Kukri, a character that I personally have not seen, uh, that I have not played once until tonight when I played Shaze. <laughs> Uh, right now, Shazay is just, uh, you know, trying to set up some Kukri stuff, biding his time, choosing his buttons very carefully against Chizuru, who's getting in anyways, getting rushed down. Okay, now she backs out. Yeah, Chizuru is a character. You got, you can't be too wild with her. You got to be real. You got to be real focused. You got to know what you're doing. A real, uh, a real knowledge check kind of character. But Shazay right now is weathering the storm. He is up quite a bit. Uh, he doesn't, it's not going to take too much for him to close this out if he can. Uh, those, uh, yeah, those clones were not quite it. And Shaze at the 28 second mark, closes it out with Kukri. He's going to get a little bit of health back. Taking him back to a little bit over half. And now he's going to have to deal with Kula Diamond. A uh, very crazy, very annoying character uh, to play against. I'm not 100% sure how she came out of uh, the, the recent patch. I didn't uh, look at her. Uh, but right now, uh, buffs or debuffs, it doesn't matter because right now Shaze is just doing Kukri things right now. Absolutely mauling Kula. Got her near stun as well as on her last legs. And there it is. Those legs taken out from underneath her with a pair of crouching lights. And just like that, it is on the back of Shermi to try and run this back uh, before this becomes an OCV. Jaze, uh, quite a bit of help on that Kukri. He's able to, oh, nice, good confirm. Good confirm with the Sherm. Oh, gets tripped up in the corner now. Gets out though with the spin kick. Takes it back to the mid screen. All right, he's gonna have to approach carefully. Sherm, has some pretty oppressive neutral tools, but you know, he's gotta try and pin down Kukri first. Sweep, okay, good stuff. He's got a pretty decent sweep. Nice bully bop, pretty, uh, pretty good considering that uh, her bully bop is one of the uh, weaker ones in the game, but Shaze back at it again. Even if he loses his character, he's still got two more characters to go. Shermie down to her last 30%. Gets that. Uh, that's not quite going to close it out. Oh, never mind. I forgot. I forgot about the follow up. Good stuff. Closes it out. Makes me look like a fool. Perurin going to get some health back, taking Shermie back up to about half. But uh, now uh, we're going to see Shaze's Rock, a character that uh, he's a big fan of. He's played this character since CVS2 as well as Garou. It's nice to see Rock be good in this game. And uh, that might actually be it. Yep, Deadly Rave Neo. Kaboom! And that's the first game for Shaze. Good stuff. Again, this is a best of five, so whoever takes uh, three games in this set will go on to the grand finals. Round one. Ready? Go! All right. Sends out the clone. Okay. Nice strong start for Perurin right now. Ooh. Okay, Shaze answering right back though. Has her in the corner, throwing out a myriad of attacks. None of them not not particularly successful, but th this one puts her right back. Get okay, can opener. Let's go. Look at the damage it is racking up, racking up, and one more touch will do it. Perurin trying to weather the storm right now. Uses the DP to get out of the corner. Takes it back to the mid screen. Twirls away. Oh, but gets uh, sand in her shoes, and that is going to be it. Kula Diamond, character that uh, this icy character got melted the last time we saw her. Hopefully Perurin can uh, do a little bit more with her this time. Uh, right now, he's just kind of getting picked apart with cross-ups and well-placed sand geysers back into the corner again. Pushing a lot of buttons on Wake Up, getting punished for it every single time, and I think that might be it again for Kula. Okay, go. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was intentional, but we saw a Shatter Strike attempt. Uh, one more touch again. We'll do it for Shaze. Kula fighting her way out of the corner. Got to be really careful. Mm. All right. Send your enemy to the Sh your uh, energy to the Shermi squad because Perura needs it right now. Okay, gets a uh, stray hit. Uh, trade in the air. 
Uh, but because that was uh, CD, uh, we're going to see a knockback on Kukri while Shermie stays more or less in place. Sir, you got to get in there. You got to get in there, sir. He's not going to come to you. You're Shermie. You got to get in there. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be it, though. Oh, yeah, all these counter hits. Can't be doing that. Oy, oy. Oh, okay. There we go. There's the chop. You got to use that. Oh, yeah. A shatter strike. That one was definitely intentional, but it completely whipped. Okay, shatter strike of our own. That's going to close it out. No, not quite. Not quite. But one more touch will do it. Oh! Goes for the dashing command grab, but it gets stuffed. There we go. The spin kick. Shazay was not ready for that. In the, in the recent patch, uh, that move has been buffed. It now goes through projectiles. Uh, which is, uh, it makes it makes her uh, avoiding fireballs a little bit easier because before she had to use uh, Hop and then either her JD or her CD to get around it. Now she can just twirl right on through it. No problem. And that's going to be it. Kaboom. The goddess of victory smiles upon the winner. That's a quick 2-0 for Shazik. Can he get a third? Can he get a third and go face off Ahmed? I believe Ahmed is who sent uh, Shazik down to, uh, to losers, so that'll be a nice little run back opportunity for him. Here we go again. B. Oui, trading blows. Trading blows back and forth. Oui. Nice. Okay. Steals a little bit of damage with the meter. Hopefully it was worth it, but uh, right now, you know, Shazze with these big confirms, that's the major difference between these two players right now, is uh, Shazze is getting so much more out of these hits, whether it's a confirm or a conversion. He is definitely doing more with less. Perurin able to, like, you know, steal these hits every now and then, but it's not quite enough. Oh. A Shatter Strike trying to bully his way into uh, an opportunity, but uh, nowhere near Shazay, and that's going to be it for Chizu. Baruran down to his last two opportunities in order to stay alive in this bracket. Okay. Wait. Wait. Shatter Strike. There we go. Okay. Takes care of Kukri. But as we've seen, Rock is probably easily Shazay's best character. He's not quite out of the woods yet. But we do have an even game. Two characters, two full life bars, although Shaze has a ton more meter to work with. Gets those scoop puts her in the corner. Oy. Okay. There we go. There's a nice confirm for Perurin. Finally. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said finally. That, that was a little rude. My apologies. Oy. Okay, nice. Good punish, good punish. Keep it going, keep it going. There we go. Okay, nice. Good anti-air, more damage. Okay. Shazi might be losing Rock for the first time this set. But can he stay alive? Okay, Deli Rave Neo. Okay, there we go. Perurin, up a character. Against uh, Shazi's K-Dash. Shazze, uh, he's been playing K-Dash since before uh, the patch. He was like one of like, what, 10 dudes who played this character uh, before the big patch. And he just absolutely crushes Kula, melts that snow. Down to the final character, Perurin on trying to stay alive in this bracket. Shazze trying to move on. Shazze using that uh, flame wheel to uh, dissuade Perurin from coming in. Sh uh, Shermie does have the means to get in there, but Shazze decides to take the initiative himself, and he's going to do quite a chunk of damage, taking Shermie down to about half health off of one combo. Still has about, has, uh, uh, has two full bars now. He's going to spin some of it. One touch will do it, and there it is. 3-0 for Shazze over Perurin. Good stuff. Good stuff. Woo! And now uh, Shaze will Shaze will get his uh, opportunity to run it back against Ahmed, a uh, pillar of the uh, SNK community here in the DMV area. Uh, 
as long as I've been coming to Xanadu, I remember that Ahmed will come to Xanadu, whether it's the one we're at right now or the, the old one back in Baltimore, back in the Baltimore days. He would bring a stack of, he, he would bring a stack, yeah, yeah. He would bring a stack of uh, consoles uh, with them all loaded up with whatever the, the, the current KOF game was, set them up, leave them there for, uh, for everybody to hop, uh, hop in. He did the same thing for KOF 14, he did the same thing for Samurai Showdown 2019, and now he's doing it for KOF 15. Ahmed, a pillar uh, of this community, really uh, giving us the means to uh, continue to uh, build and grow this community. So shout out 